A few moments later. I finally did it. I grinded my way to level 9 of the assault roll, unlocking the fearsome Raider loadout. This loadout is a dream for players with an aggressive playstyle like me. You get access to either the MP44 or the Grease Gun as your primary weapon, depending on whether you're playing as the Americans or the Germans, and you also get a frag grenade, two smoke grenades, and most importantly, a satchel charge. This combination of a kick-ass primary weapon like the MP44, which is the best gun in the game in my opinion, and an array of explosive goodies will allow you to wreak havoc on the enemy. With this loadout, players can handle enemy infantry without any problems, and a well-placed sniper charge can even allow them to destroy an enemy heavy tank. Target tank is down. Satchel charges can also obviously be used to blow up enemy fortifications, resource nodes, and this is especially useful when tackling a bunch uh, of enemy nodes because it saves you the time apparently to dismantle them manually, which can take forever. Pro tip, don't build nodes next to each other. Try to space them out a bit. This means a satchel charge or an enemy bombing run won't be able to take them out all at once. I get why the developers made this loadout such a grind to unlock. I mean, it ticks all the boxes for an attacking player, and when played correctly, it can be quite devastating. Of course, the mighty satchel charge is available to the level 3 engineer of all factions with the sapper and pioneer loadouts, but they don't offer the same all-round package as the assault's raider loadout. The level 3 engineers don't get any frag grenades, instead they have two anti-personnel mines, which are obviously more of a defensive rather than an offensive option, and the primary weapon for the engineers aren't as good. The Americans get the M97 trench gun, which is a lot of fun, but only at close range. The Germans get the MP40, which is a decent weapon, but not as good as the MP44. And the Soviet engineers get the Mosin Nagant, which is a bolt action rifle, and as such doesn't lend itself well to charging into enemy strongholds like the MP44 or even the Grease gun. I can confirm the Raider loadout was worth the grind. I had so much fun playing around with it, trying to get in close to enemies to plant my such a charge in areas to cause maximum carnage. Sit back and enjoy some of that gameplay. That's from the church, that's from the church. A few moments later. Nice. You kill anyone? You got like 10 kills. Satchel was placed. My AT guy's trying to AT it from the front, so I'm gonna do shit. Satchel on the brier though. Target tank is down.
guys behind the tram on my thing. Mine on it, uh, Satchel's right there. Whoever that was. My satchel charge. Nice. Moments later. Hello. few moments later An enemy in the bunker head. Yeah, I'm still these pings here.
Sat there's a satchel on the tank, satchel on the tank. Hold fire. 